So here there are a series of actually a mix of sketches and reference that I've been using for my work in the past years. So central in, uh, in the frame, you can see one of my sketchbook. It's, it's, it's one of my many sketchbooks. So it's really important for me work with marks, lines and gestures. So it's, a, it's, a, it's something that um, it's really dominant in my practice and uh, it's crucial for, for, for the final work. And um, you can see also another notebooks in which I'm exploring more the, the structures of the bird wings. So I try to understand the lines. I try to understand how can I create a movement that it actually uh, it create the illusion of acceleration, suspension. And then there are also some of my notes um, with the pen. Here, you can see actually a real pair of wings. This is a, a taxidermy um, specimen of a pigeon bird of wing. So I have started to embrace a scientific approach within my work. So it's also important for me to observe from the reality, to try to understand and chasing a vision that is actually related to pre-existing um, materials. And over there, there's one of my pencil sketches in which I'm investigating more the angle of elevation and uh, um, the structure of the birds, and most of all, the direction, because um, mathemat maths is also part of my research so I'm interested in the movement in a way that so, so how can I <clears throat> create, how can I expand the idea of movement in my work. And um, in this sense, uh, um, I must say that the equation of Bernoulli helped me to understand most of the process because uh, it explores the um, the flight of the birds in a mathematical way in which we can understand there are two areas of pressure, one ascendant and one descendant. And in the middle, it creates a suspension. And these allow the birds to fly, aircraft to fly. And that moment, which I call the uplifting moment, is where I work with my practice.